Well, tonight's been a pretty nice night. Really cool out there as temperatures have been dipping rather quickly, but we got a little cloud cover coming in from the west. This is the result of a warm front that'll be lifting northward into the Ohio Valley tomorrow, and that's bringing some showers with it out this way. I don't think we're going to see any of that rain, although well north and west of Richmond, there might be a spotty shower tomorrow afternoon. We will feel the effects of the front as the winds turn to the south and southwest and pick up, and that's going to help to really warm us up for your Mother's Day. Some local Locations may get up to around 80 degrees in the afternoon. It was 80 in Memphis today, 83 in Oklahoma City. Look at Dallas, 90 degrees while we're stuck in that cooler air, a little trough along the East Coast and through the Great Lakes. Again, the warmer air is going to lift in here for a day or two, and then some of that cooler air will return once again as we head into the latter stages or the middle and latter stages of the coming week. 50 degrees outside right now. Beautiful shot from the diamond after two wins for the squirrels uh, today. A light breeze now developing out of the south at about three miles an hour. So that will keep our temperatures from dropping too much overnight tonight. That combined with the increase in cloud cover. I think we end up in the low 40s here in town. A little warmer along the coast, but pretty chilly in some rural communities down into the upper 30s. Look at the impact of the south-southwest wind tomorrow. Highs in the upper 70s and touching 80 down near the Tri-City. So it's a warm Mother's Day that will be on the way. A little bit more cloud cover around. And then we cool off a little bit for the midweek period through the end of the week. Lower 70s, normal highs in the mid and upper 70s. We'll get there again by the beginning of next weekend. Couple of rain chances. Well north and west of town tomorrow. There might be a spotty shower. I mentioned that. But then a cold front coming through bringing some showers. Maybe a rumble of thunder on Monday. A few dry days for the midweek period, and then by Thursday night into Friday, there may be a few more showers, but no major storms on the way during the course of the next week or so. Cloud cover increases overnight tonight. I mentioned more clouds for your Mother's Day, especially early in the morning, but they'll break up for some sunshine. That south-southwesterly wind really going to warm us up. Clouds take over again later in the day, but I don't think we're going to see any rain here. By Monday morning, a little front drops on through, so some showers, maybe a thunderstorm to begin the new week, and then a little bit of a break in the action on Tuesday. Later in the week, model consensus not all that good here. Worst case scenario is Thursday night into Friday morning. Some showers come on through, and then this system moves out by later on Friday. So here's how the forecast plays out. Overnight tonight, mainly clear skies and then some clouds rolling in by daybreak about 43 in RVA but some 30s in the coldest rural communities. Here's your Mother's Day planner and we've got a mixture of clouds and sunshine temperatures in the mid and upper 60s by lunchtime upper 70s with a rather gusty southwesterly breeze tomorrow afternoon heading into Monday some showers maybe a rumble of thunder temperatures in the mid 70s dry weather through the midweek period and there's that other chance of a few showers Thursday night into Friday with a nice start to next weekend.